Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the and the U.S. tech stocks or big tech stocks, uh, I could uh, call them as well. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, November 20, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to click the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Uh, we also have a channel over at Patreon where we offer a signal service. You can trade with us online and you can also get access to our full technical analysis. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we pulled back quite significantly in the trading session today and then rallied. But we are rallying towards the 3,580 or 3,600 if it would be more or less exact. That is a major barrier for this market. Um, question is whether or not we break that tomorrow. My bets are against that. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the RSI at the current moment is at 80.3. That is absolutely significantly overstretched and overbought. And this market could come tumbling down all the way down towards 3,200. If that's going to happen, no, I don't think that is going to happen. But we have basically uh, the market this week, or or you can say it, the news this week has pulled out basically the bazooka, not just one, but three, four, five times by announcing that there is a vaccine on the way. And that is fantastic. It just had made it impossible to trade this market for, for this entire week. But that should be priced in now. We can see what basically happened yesterday uh, or, the, or the day before when there was an announcement of, the, of, uh, of a new vaccine. Market did not react. And that has a sign that we have basically priced the vaccine. We know that it is coming. And if there is a new vaccine coming tomorrow or and so on, market shouldn't be uh, that affected by it. So there, of course, is the, another news that it will get, get FDA approval and that will basically push this market higher. But that is probably a few weeks of the, away from now. Um, that's not going to happen straight away. But if we look at the technical indicator for S&P 100, we can see that we are significantly overbought. So this is a massive warning sign. Stochastic has turned around. CCI is turning around. We are at the top of this range, which we have been for several days now, and we have not broken significantly through. This was a major breakthrough, but we fell back down. So this is a sign that we are not ready to go to those levels yet. So the only thing that is um, is still, what we're still waiting for is basically the MACD. So if the MACD crosses the signal line, then we could basically push this market all the way down to the 50 moving average around 3,400. And that is, in my view, a more realistic thing that is going to happen than that this market is going to basically explode to uh, 3,700, 3,800, because then we would look at the RSI that would be over 90. And that, I don't think that is going to happen. So I expect a pullback from here. Um, it's a risky trade to short this, the best thing is basically let this go as far as possible and then buy it in order to get a maximum value from this uh, trade. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones, very similar. We are still above this um, support area here. Uh, a break below that opens the door to the 20 exponential moving average around uh, 29,000 and then to the 50 moving average around 28,000. And there, I think most buyers will come in and push this higher. We also here are in the RSI at 80.9. It is a big problem for this market if it wants to go higher, because if you want to push this market all the way up to, to uh, 30,000, then we will look at an RSI around 85, 90, or even higher than that. But the other technical indicators for the Dow Jones are turning around. We are significantly overstretched. We are pulling back. The MACD is showing that. The stochastic is definitely showing that. So is our CCI. And so are also the Bollinger Band. So expect this market to go lower. And similar tactics for this market. Let it go as far, far as possible in order to gain as much value as possible. 
So let's see what the Nasdaq has to offer. We can see that we have rallied quite significantly. And this was very late in the, in the session. As you can see, most of these tech stocks have turned green. And that's also what is pushing the, for example, the uh, S&P 500 higher. Uh, and um, yes, if this holds, maybe. We also are overbought in the NASDAQ. This needs a pullback at least towards uh, the 50 moving average in order to go significantly higher. The other technical indicators for CCI is turning around. Uh, the stochastic is, turn is basically um, showing signs of bearishness. Uh, bullish band is basically in the middle of nowhere. But if the MACD turns across the signal line here, that is a warning sign that we are going to go significantly lower. We are basically in the mid-range here. The very lows are down here. The very highs are up here. So a pullback towards the 50 would be ideal. Uh, if we see that, that is, um, we'll have to see. This is an indication that we are going to go lower. But if we go higher, then we'll probably find major... Um, major uh, resistance here around 12,200 to 12,300. So if you look at these tech stocks, we can see that Netflix has started rallying from the uh, 150 moving average and is trading now at 486. Um, I think that Netflix is just going to go higher from here. That is, uh, if you look at these technical indicators, everything is pointing to higher levels for Netflix. If it crosses the 50 moving average, then we are going to, to, to um, test these very highs up here. No interest in basically shorting this because there's a lot of uh, support underneath. Microsoft has found resistant uh, support at the 100 moving average is right here at 211. It probably will stay here for some time because most of these indicators are fairly bearish still, so especially the stochastic and also the CCI. And MACD is also crossing the signal line. So we could break down towards the, the 150 moving average, around 203. Um, we have room, for example, in RSI, we're, all, we're at 60. So it, it, it's possible that we'll go significantly lower from here. So keep that in mind. We are in the middle of nowhere. A break below the 100 moving average opens the door to the 150. A rally from here, we can rally up towards 225. So... If you look at Apple stock, we're still in the middle of nowhere. But this is a fairly encouraging uh, candle. But when you look at the stochastic, it is very, very, very bearish indeed. We are significantly overbought in, in Apple stock. So I favor, these indicators favor the downside, um, not the upside. So a pullback from here opens the door to the 100 moving average at 111. And even uh, a pullback towards uh, uh, the 107 dollar range, that is also possible. So if you look at Amazon stock, we can see that we tried to rally two days ago, didn't manage that pullback, and are now are trading at 3,118. We are uh, nearly a half a percent up today, um, and at this point, technical indicators for for Amazon stock are very mixed. MACD is flat, RSI is bullish, CC, CCI is flat, stochastic is basically bearish, and the Bollinger Band are basically showing that we are going head towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band, which is around 3,000 uh, 3, there above. So a break below above the 50 moving average opens the door to these highs around 3,350 there above, and a break further down from here opens the door to these uh, this line of 3,000. That is Definitely a buying opportunity. So you look at Tesla. Tesla has rallied all the way to the top, broke down again. And this should be a warning sign for everybody that wants to buy Tesla at this point. Of course, if we break these highs, then we are going significantly higher. But if these technical indicators are turning around and this um, candlestick here, that which is fairly bearish at this point, that could mean that we'll head back towards the 50 moving average at 427. If you look at the Bollinger Band, which is um, really good in order to determine this stock, I've used it several times, we can see that we are way across the barriers of the Bollinger Band. This is an um, enormous amount of buying that's been put into this stock. 
Um, and at the moment, we are so overstretched that uh, for pullback from here, uh, it's impossible to say how far, but a pullback from here is inevitable at this point. Um, RSI is also at um, 79.445, uh, and this will probably have a little bit of pullback tomorrow, but but a Monday session, be ready to, for a pullback towards the 50 moving average. That is highly likely at this point. So if you look at Facebook, we have a pullback towards the 50, rallied again, and now we're trading at 273. Technical indicators for this are fairly mixed. So it is, it is technical stock you just stay away from. If we, found, of course, fall all the way down to the 100 moving average at 263, or these very low here, 257, then of course you could buy this. But to sell or buy this at this point is a fairly a gamble at this point in my view. So Google is up 1% today. We fell and then rallied, but a fall from here is basically inevitable. Um, we'll definitely go towards the 40 exponential, uh, 40 exponential moving average at 1650. Uh, if you look at the technical indicators for this, they are all looking uh, much more bearish now than they did yesterday. And we are also significantly overbought. So uh, to buy this here is, is a bad idea. This is most likely going to trade sideways or going to break down all the way down to the, word, the 50 moving average, which is around 1566. So Hope you found this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button, and see our newest videos. And you're welcome to click the link to join us over at Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much.